Hey, we're back. It's T. Renee Mathis, the Cinema College, the 41st Annual Delco Awards. I can't believe it's been 41. I am with Tamike and Jerome Preston Bates. Jerome, we love you. We love your work. You've been in everything. You've been in on uh, uh, TV shows. Uh, what, what? It was it. One Life to Live. Uh, uh, I did all my children. All my children. All my children. All my children. Um, I've done it. One Life to Live, but I had a role on all my uh, all my children. Yes. Had, uh, you know, role. August Wilson, you're 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 nonstop working. What was what's your favorite play that you think you've been in, or your top two? Well, first was Seven Guitars because I created the role opposite Viola Davis and Ruben Santiago. He created it. Understand that in Chicago at the Goodman Theater. So that would be my, and I just love that character. I love that that you know the guy that can't seem to do right, but <laughs> I, I just love a, a character with a challenge. And uh, and he was a wonderful spirit and a wonderful soul. And I like musicians. I like playing musicians. So it came at a good time because at the time we were trying to produce Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Rome Neal was directing me around in Jimi Hendrix. So when I got that role, it was wonderful because it was another guitar player. So that's been wow. my favorite role. And if I could say anything else, oh my God, Ernie McClintock is such a Harlem staple. He was from Chicago. He gave me my first props. We did uh, Raising in the Sun with Tupac Shakur and. And Levy Simon came out of there, uh, Nicholas Ashford, Richard Gant, a lot of people. And I guess my first Adelco uh, was with Equus. And I played uh, uh, the horseman in one of the horse and I choreographed it. So my first Adelco was two Adelcos. I won for best choreographer and best supporting actor that year. It was my first year in New York, second year. Yeah. Wow, so, it, so the Adelcos, you've been riding with Adelcos for a long time. How important is that we keep honoring the Adelco Wars? And how important is it to, to black theater that Adelco awards as we know it goes on forever and ever and ever it inspires young artists it inspires those who inspires to be young artists when i won my delco award i was inspired by a young man that i saw in chickens come home to roost and that was denzel washington and he walked out of the building i said hey man you remember me he said yeah i said what you getting ready to do he said i'm going to get, do saint elsewhere so then as i saw his career uh take off i said well he did he won an adelco i won an adelco and my God, I mean, I, I, maybe I'm in some good footsteps. And Debbie Allen and just a bunch of people had won. And, you know, so it, it's, a, it's very important. It's an insp inspirational award. The, the awards are very important because they recognize uh, the work that is done, the labor of love that is done. You got people like Tamike, you know, he's working and working is a labor of love until it kicks in that he, you know, it becomes a, 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 something that pays the bills, really. But you're working because you're called to it. You almost can't do anything else. You know, you'll do something else to take care of your family. You got to do that. But the 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 art, uh, you you're drawn to it. What else could you do? I I, I agree. And they, and and so they honor the people that labor, not just the people doing television and film. I, you know, I've had a chance to do Broadway television and film, but those that are laboring because they love the work. And uh, you put the work in, it's going to definitely pay, pay off for you. So uh, I would tell any young person out there that, uh, you know, that's looking uh, at now, uh, success is preparation meeting opportunity. You will get the opportunity. Just be prepared. Absolutely. And that's, that's what I was going to say about the preparation that you do. You're very diligent and you give back a lot. You're always mentoring. You're always, we call you for advice. Tamike, I know you know that because this is one of your mentors. How, how important is it to have a Jerome Preston Bates, number one, that we can see in technique, but number two, he lends a hand. He picks up the phone. He says, hey, think about it this way. Think about that. How important is it to have a mentor? Uh, it's important. You see somebody doing it. And they're not just talking and they're doing it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we take that back? Oh, all right, yeah. I'm going to need a minute. Tamike, <laughs> I was asking you, how important is it to have a mentor like Jerome Preston Bates? He's worked with everybody. Denzel, Viola Davis, on, on TV, film, Broadway. How important is it? Um, it's important to see somebody actually doing the work, not just talking it and telling you how it was done, but seeing them walk their own footsteps and follow their own path. And it, it actually gives you power to let you know that you can do it too. Um, I remember my first home on stage um, in Raising in the Sun in undergrad. We first met each other back in like 2001. I was a sophomore at a and um, 
And I jumped up on stage after the performance, and I was like, we got a lot of things in common. I'm going to see you again. Next thing you know, he comes and directs me in Seven Guitars as Helly my senior year. And that re that's really what gave me the inspiration to, to keep doing this. And um, it's part of the reason I'm standing here now. You know, and you just booked something, too. Tell us about it. Um, I just booked a, a film um, by award-winning director Keith Bearden. It's called Get Rich in 13 Easy Steps. I shoot next month. Um, and so this has just been a blessed year. <laughs> um, had the opportunity to actually appear with the Royal Shakespeare Company and the all-black version of Julius Caesar at BAM, of all places. And I actually have a film that I'm premiering at BAM as well um, by the name of See You Next Tuesday. It's been in three continents, Australia, um, South, in, yeah, South Korea, and, um, and in, in England at the BFI London Film Fest. And it, it's been a crazy year. I actually turned up in Broken City with uh, the likes of uh, Jeffrey Wright and uh, Russell Crowe and, and so on and so on. It's, it's just, Tamika is hard working. You're a hustler. I, I keep good people like you around me, sweetheart. You know what I mean? And really quick, Jerome, you have to fly out, I think, what, tonight or in the morning? And what are you working on? I'm working on Sick Fly, the Art and Theater in Philadelphia. So I go, uh, I leave at 12.40 tonight, get home in, in Philly about the quarter to three, and I got a 10 o'clock show tomorrow. But I thank God for work. <laughs> thank God care. for work. If it was 6 a.m., I would be there. <laughs> but I had to come in, and, uh, you know, I brought my daughter, and, uh, you know, so I had to come in and, and do this. This, this means so much to me. It was such an inspiration to get my uh, Delco maybe two years into coming into New York, my first year in Harlem. And I can't sing the praises of Ernie McClintock enough and the incredible, daring productions that he brought to the New York stage. And, uh, and having the opportunity to meet Miss Vivian Robinson personally, I did Shango Di Ima, uh, my first role uh, with his company, and it was just incredible. Introduced me to African culture. I went out and, and, and learned about uh, uh, the Bimbes and, um, and the different Orishas and the Santeria, as well as the Yoruba religion, and really got you know, caught up in that. And, and he, he did so many wonderful plays, uh, Raising in the Sun with Tupac, uh, we did uh, Dream on Monkey Mountain, Tabernacle. He was just a daring director out of Chicago. Uh, there's no one like him. And he's, uh, the lives that he's touched is just incredible. So, Jerome, how do you stay grounded? Because there, there's so many things that happen. There's death. There's illness. There's disparity. There is just, I'm not working. How do you stay grounded? And I, and I know that you're very spiritual. And I know that God puts put you first. You put God first. What else can an actor like, you know, Tamika and I up and coming when the road gets rough, when things happen, give us some food for thought that is going to keep us going? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm a Christian. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I was called into ministry in 96 when I was on Broadway. And I didn't know that it would really take me away from my acting, take me away from what I felt was my gift. But the responsibility became so... Uh, you know, so important to me, I had to take it. And then theater became like fourth in line. But I think that everything, there's a word say, only what you do for God will last. And uh, I think as I begin to put him first, he began to really give me the desires of my heart. So as the word said, put ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. This is a wicked world. Uh, it's a wicked business. Well, none of us are perfect. So we are in, in an imperfect world. We are imperfect beings. We love this business. It doesn't necessarily love us. But with the grace of God, we will find a way to survive in this business, to prosper, and to encourage others that may come into it. And I would just say put God first. Whatever you're looking up to, I look up to God through his son, Jesus Christ. But uh, dis discipline your life. Keep yourself in shape. Uh, you know, Tamika is an incredible example and almost been an inspiration, inspiration to me. He would tell me about roles that I didn't even know exist. He told me, stick fly, man, you ain't in stick fly. They got a role in there for you. And so, uh, you know, so <laughs> you got to look up these things. If you, if you want to be on TV, go see how Law & Order is done. Law & Order, N NCIS, they all have different styles. You can't go up in there yelling and screaming or stuff because they have a style, the way they deliver these lines. So, you know, focus on what you want to do. Have a plan to do it. And I say, if you put God first, give him the honor and the praise. You put a good prayer on your life. Be really focused. It will come to pass. And there you have it. Put God first. Jerome Preston Bates. Timike Ogugula.
Did Google I? Wah, girl, a Google Wa. <laughs> there you have it. Live 41st Annual Deck Awards, the Cinema Couch. We thank you and good night.